Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working with a Lenovo T460S. I'll show you how to get inside, access your fan or your heatsink assembly. Show you how to remove it, reapply thermal paste if you need to do any of that, or replace the components. So before we get going, remember I do try to answer all comments and questions at least twice a day, but if you want to save time waiting for an answer, check out the FAQs below in the description. I do try to keep those updated. Also, I have a related link section below in the description, may be able to help you out with some other things involving your computer use. So to start the project, power down your computer the correct way, make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then gonna flip it over and access our bottom case screws. Okay, so I have these three screws up top, these two screws here, and that's your keyboard screw. That's a switch that releases your keyboard if that's all you're after. So I'm gonna go across and take all these screws out. Okay, so all my screws are unscrewed. However, they do have washers inside of them that hold them in place, so you're not gonna get them completely out. And I set my keyboard screw to open. And now the bottom case is, is released. So I'm gonna take my small flat head pry tool, go across the seam, and pop this bottom case off. Now this has been taken off once before, so you may have a harder time than that but it does come off fairly easily. There's no, uh, there's nothing attached to the bottom case. It's, it's just the panel. After removing your bottom case, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now as a general computer repair side note, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, I have it sitting on this anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in your computer when you're working on it. If you guys need any help with tools or supplies for your computer project, as well as any of these replacement or upgrade parts for this specific model computer, there'll be a link above, also below in the description, and I will have a list of all the tools and supplies, again, as well as the replacement and upgrade parts for this model in that one list. Now before doing anything in a computer, I always either remove or at least unplug the battery. It makes it safer to work on when as little power as possible is running through the computer. In this computer, we have two batteries. The main computer battery screws in there and there, plugs into the motherboard right here underneath this tape. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out those screws. And then it's held down underneath these two clips right there. So I'm gonna pop this up out of that port and then slide it out from under those two clips and there's your battery. This battery is very similar. It's held in by these two clips there, these two screws here, and it plugs into the motherboard there, similar to that one. So I'll go ahead and I'll take these screws out and then I'll lift it up from this plug and slide it out from those clips. So this is your fan here and your heatsink assembly that runs over your CPU over, over to this vent. Uh, the fan plugs into the motherboard right there and the heatsink screws down with these four screws here. So I'll go ahead and I'll take this fan out. When you unplug that, make sure you're not pulling on the wires. These fan wires are very, very fragile in most computers so you could damage it. Put your fingernails or a pry tool on either side of that plug and just pull that out like that and then your fan wire will come out. I'll go ahead and remove these four screws here over the CPU. That released that whole assembly, so that can come up now. And that's what you're looking at for your fan and your heatsink assembly. I will try to have a replacement fan heatsink assembly below in the description uh, in that link I told you about with all the replacement parts. Another good thing to know, if you are taking this up, you do need to reapply thermal paste. Once air gets in here, that does need to be cleaned off and reapplied. So I'll show you how to do that now. So I'm gonna be using a 70% isopropyl alcohol mixture and a rag. I'm just gonna clean it off of the heat sink, clean it off of the CPU. As you notice there, I used a little small flat pry tool in my rag to kind of get it out of those grooves right there in, in the corner. You want to get as much of that up, all of it, as possible. Now 
Now that I'm ready to reapply my thermal paste, I'm gonna put just a little bit down. You don't wanna to put too much. I'll put a little bit over here. A little bit over here. So that's as much thermal paste as you need, guys. If you put too much thermal paste on, it could actually have a reverse effect. It could lock the heat in rather than facilitate its transport out of your computer. So don't put too much thermal paste on. Below in the description, in the link with all the tools and replacement parts, I'll have some thermal paste options. You have some cheap stuff, some expensive stuff. Um, you get what you pay for. You just go ahead and put this in there and just give it a nice press. There we go. And that's how you would reapply thermal paste to your heatsink. So that's the procedure. Uh, please remember to like and share if it was helpful, if you think it could be helpful for someone else. Feel free to subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer content or if you just want me on hand to answer your computer related questions. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.